everybody, this is North Camp Prepper. I hope you can hear me over the sound of the generator out there. It's, um, it's about 90 decibels out there and about 70 in here. So, I'll have to figure that out later and probably do a voiceover if this doesn't work good. This is an old headboard I had. Um, I was modifying it and I'm going to see if I can weld this together now. This is steel. Um, I thought it was aluminum. I was going to do some, uh, some aluminum brazing rods here and see if I can do it that way, but apparently it's, got, it's magnetic, so we'll just go ahead and hit it the welder. But I don't know if I have to buy a new generator or not. That one out there peaks about 1800 watts. Um, my welder is 25 volt uh, output, so that means I could weld allegedly. I mean, the math, you know, there's going to be losses, but. Carry that, carry that, do that, do that math, complex equations. Basically, uh, 1800 watts um, at 12 volts works out to about 72 amps. So if I'm under, say, 70 amps, uh, that's about, 70 amps would be um, 1750. So I'll probably run it lower, probably run about 30 amps. I think I have some 30 amp rod here. I'll be running um, 7014. I prefer 6013 or 6014. Um, I forget which one it is, whatever. But these run low amps, um, 35 to 50 amp range. So we'll see if these work. I've used it before just to touch up a little hole in my well on my muffler. Or not muffler, my exhaust. I didn't want to blow it apart. I don't want to blow a hole through this. It's pretty thin. Um, I'm not sure how thin it is. I'll measure it later. But I'm going to see if I can weld this together and uh, do it that way. And I'll, I'll film the uh, welder and uh, I guess the generator so you can hear it struggling. Uh, I, I suspect it's going to be kind of sticky. Um, I don't have a camera yet that I want to put in front of the arc. I'm thinking I may get a, another camera I have at home and I'm going to try to put a, um, a welding uh, filter on it. Uh, one of the lenses and see if that works. Uh, I put out a couple uh, questions to some of the other big welding channels on uh, what they sh what I should use for camera because they film arcs. Sometimes it's green, I'm sure they're going through it, but sometimes they're just straight on the arc and I don't want to do that. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. Um, I'll film this in the background right now so you'll see that you hear the generator, but you'll see the flash. But it should be okay, I spec. Um, it'll probably run about 30 amps. So we're about half that. Um, I could do an audit with my uh, meter wherever I put it. I don't know. My kilowatt meter. But I'll do another video where I audit everything in the shop on how much power. Like I know the lights take half an amp. So you can estimate battery usage and stuff. So, But let me go ahead and get this set up and, and clamped up and ready to go. And um, I'll be right back. Okay. So there it is, we're set up at 35 amps. Here's the well that you can't really see the lighting in here. We're just going to tack it right there and see. So let me go ahead and put this off camera and go ahead and do it. I just don't want the flash to really splatter on my camera. So I'm going to go ahead and just turn this over here so you can hear it. going but um it's very very sticky i don't know really bad here so that's where we're at so yeah you can weld but i've got to check with the professional welder on this to see if it's me or if it's the generator because 
I upped the amps to 50. It didn't make any difference whatsoever. So that's what's up for today, guys. From Kemper Brown.